Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another little uh, tip for you guys. This is an Adobe Muse tip this time, and I wanted to show you how to add videos to your site that you can click on and it would open up in a new iframe instead of having to load uh, many videos. For example, in my case, since I'm a wedding uh, musician, underneath each one of these lists, I'm going to put several uh, links to videos so that people can get an idea of how I sound. But I want it to just show up one time as a video, as a YouTube video. I don't want to have 20 videos, 30 videos, because of course that's gonna slow down my site. So let's start with the simple part. The simple part is just going ahead and adding your video. So the first video I'm gonna add is this Claire de Lune. Of course, um, you can have your first video be a welcome screen or anything, but I don't have time to uh, put one together right now so I'm just going to show you how to do it this way so as you already know all you have to do is bring up your uh, video embed it uh, click all of this copy and paste it in here so when you paste it here try to paste it up here so it doesn't push everything down but it's probably gonna do it anyway so here's our video we're gonna bring all this up just like this get it real nicely situated uh, press shift here so that I can select all of this and then shift up to kind of bring everything up at five uh, pixel increments okay so now we have our format our situation here now the first thing you want to do is set up your iframe to be your target now to do that you're going to edit your HTML this is the HTML iframe that YouTube put in your uh, Muse site. You're gonna put, you're gonna name the iframe with an ID, and in this case, I'm just gonna name it YouTube. You can name it anything you want, but you gotta make sure that you uh, remember how you spelled it. And then you're gonna add a name, and the name is gonna also be YouTube in this case. But if you name it Bobby's videos or main iframe or anything like that, you can you know, name it whatever you want. Um, but for simplicity's sake, I'm naming it ID YouTube and name YouTube, just like that, okay? It doesn't do anything to the uh, YouTube video, uh, but uh, you'll see what I'm gonna use it for in a second. Now, right here, I'm going to create a button. Now, you can't create a button using the state button because it won't work for what I wanna do because unfortunately, the way the only way to link is to link it this way and you can't add your own targets doing that so what you want to do is delete this and I'm gonna create two types of buttons a simple one and a, and a more complicated one but of course you can make it as complicated as you want if you know HTML but if you don't you can do it this way what you're gonna do is you're gonna add an object insert HTML and you're just gonna put whatever you want so in this case I want it to be Claire de Lune so then you're going to just add your um, whatever text. So I'm going to put Claire de Lune here because, of course, if they click away, I want them to come back to Claire de Lune. So I'm just going to go ahead and put here Claire de Lune, just like that. You don't have to do anything else, just that part for now. I'm going to show you in a second. So once you do that, your HTML comes up with Claire de Lune. Now, what's great about this is that you can still format using your text panel over here. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is uh, Verdana and we're gonna make sure that it's uh, 24 and there we have it so what's cool is that now you can center it here and we're gonna bring this up to about 35 pixels and there we go okay so now we're going to um, now we're going to link this so normally you want to do one button that way you can just copy and paste and everything's gonna be easy you'll see what I mean in a second so we're gonna do this one button and we're gonna right click on it and say edit HTML so now we're gonna make it a link so to make it a link you're gonna do anchor link like this and close the anchor link like that okay then we're going to reference the YouTube video so now to reference the YouTube video we're gonna go back to the video and when you create your iframe you no longer have to make the iframe so what you want to do is just get this source information right here so what's inside the quote so right here that's what you want 
You're going to copy that, come back to your Muse, and you're going to say href equals, in quotes, and you're going to paste that information in. Then you're going to target equals, and then you're going to say um, your target is going to be YouTube because that's what you named your iframe. That's what you named your iframe. So then after you do that, you say, okay, this becomes a link. So let's uh, preview it and see what happens. So now we have it previewed here. And when I click on this, it brings it up right here. Now to see how this works, we're going to have to make a second one so I can show you um, everything else. So let's just say this copy, paste, and let's do a third one so you can see, paste it. Okay, now on my original website, this is going to be the Lord's Prayer. So uh, let's edit the HTML. We're going to change this to the Lord's Prayer. Just like that. And we're going to change the link to the Lord's Prayer. So we're going to come over here to the Lord's Prayer. We're going to go to Embed. We're going to, um, all we need, we don't need any of this information except what's inside the quotes. I'm going to copy this, come here, and paste it here. See, like I was saying, once you create the first one, it's easy. And now when it updates, it's going to say the Lord's Prayer. Of course, we need this to be a little longer. It's a tad bit longer. And put this at 35. And there you go. Now let's do this third one here real quick. The third one is air on a G string. So let's go to air on a G string. Okay, here's air on a G string. And we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna say share, embed. All we need is this part. Copy, come to Muse. Edit the HTML, change this to air on a G string. And then paste the new code here. And there you have it. So now we have these three links. Let's see what this looks like. Go to the preview. And now whenever I click on the Lord's Prayer, that comes up, plays perfectly. Click air on a G string, that comes up. Click back to clear the loon, that comes up. What's beautiful about this also is that when you immediately load, when you first load your site, the only thing that's gonna come up is your site, your, your um, one video. So let's go ahead and press Shift Apple E. And here is, let me put it up here. Here is um, our site, and when we reload, you can see the only thing that has to load is this first video. And when we click here and click here, now of course I've got to widen this a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and go back here to Muse and give this a little bit of leeway here so that it's not touching right on it. Now, like I said, you can f format all of this to your heart's content. For example, we can uh, press the word style here. Equals. Now, this, of course, is more advanced and it requires you to know a little bit of CSS. But, of course, we can do um, text decoration is none. And um, the color of the of the text we can change um, to blue like that and then when we do that there's no underline um, we can even change the uh, color to red 
and there's our red. We can uh, do, I mean, there's just a bazillion things you could do if you know CSS. So, um, but for, for simplicity's sake, um, what we're going to do in this case is just take away the text decoration. That's all I'm going to do. Once we preview here, you can see that the links still work. And but we don't have those underlines. And of course you can change this all kinds of ways. So uh, thank you for your time. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. Thank you.